Let's look at the relationship of sine, not just with numbers, but let's look at the relationship of sine with the green, like how we've labeled it. And notice that we label the angles with capital letters, and then we label the sides with lowercase letters. Now, now that we know we can create a right triangle and find the height, well, if you guys remember, what if I wanted to find the area? Well, now we know the height. We remember the area of a triangle is 1 half base times height, right? So I could say 1 half using green here. I'm not going to use the numbers because the numbers was just to like understand this. Using the B represents my base. And now I need to figure out the height. Now again, let's use height in terms of the green, like the letters, like for any triangle, right? Not just this specific triangle that I gave dimensions for. But for any triangle, the height is really represented by this side times the cosine of that angle, or the sine of that angle, right? So it would really be C times the sine of A. Now, does it really matter, guys, if this was A? Or could I rewrite this as C? Could I like flip the, could I, flip, could I like change the angles around? If you wanted, yeah. yeah, like so don't get stuck with, oh, that's A, so that I have to plug in the angle A. No, it really looks on the relationship here. Make sure you have your base here. Here's your angle. If you create that right triangle, then it'd be that side times the angle there. But notice this formula, 1 half b times c times sine of a. And if you guys look on your formula sheet, you'll notice that formula is actually on your formula sheet. But at least you guys kind of know where it came from. It's not something that I just made up, like the sum and difference angles or the double and half angle, where I'm like, hey, here's the formula. Use it. Right? We, didn't, we didn't discover those formulas. But here you guys can at least see where this comes from.